Welcome back to another episode of Show and Tell in my garage. I think this is going to be a pretty quick video, actually. Um, I just want to show off my fancy new belt grinder. But before we get into that, I do want to show you my existing belt grinder so that you can get a better idea as to why I wanted a new one in the first place. All right, so this is my current belt grinder. It's one of those super cheap belt grinders that you find at Harbor Freight or really anywhere else that sells what we'll call inexpensive budget tools. This belt grinder is actually one of the first tools that I ever bought. Long before I had a shop or any metalworking tools, I had a belt grinder and a drill press. And this is that belt grinder. Now, I don't wanna belabor the point or spend a lot of time on this because of course this video isn't about this belt grinder, but I think it's important to point out the fact that I am not against cheap or inexpensive tools. I have a lot of what we'll call budget tools in this shop. And a lot of them work completely fine, at least good enough for my purposes anyway. However, I do think there comes a point when cheap is too cheap and this particular belt grinder, I think is one of those instances. Now, like I said, this video isn't about this grinder and I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this, so I'm not gonna go through and point out all the different things that I dislike about this grinder. Instead, I'll just turn it on for a second and let you see what it looks like when it's running. As you can see, it shakes all over the place. I actually have to keep it clamped to this table just to prevent it from walking off and falling onto the floor. It has absolutely no power and these belts just do not stick to these plastic rollers at all which means that when you use this thing, you can barely apply any pressure at all to the belt or it'll just completely stop in its tracks. So even the simplest thing like grinding a small chamfer on a block of steel takes 10 times longer than it should. All right, so now you know why I've been looking to replace that thing for quite some time. However, what you may or may not also know is that for some reason, decent belt grinders are really, really expensive. For instance, the industrial version of that grinder, a four or six inch belt grinder in basically the same configuration, maybe a little bit bigger with a stronger motor, sells used in my area for four to $600. So the difference between wanting to replace that grinder and being able to afford to replace that grinder has been a difference for me of about four to $600. Plus, honestly, there are just way better types of belt grinder out there these days. These days, we have access to stuff like knife maker grinders, which are just way more flexible and versatile and way better suited to the different types of oddball work that we do in the hobby machine shop. However, knife maker grinders are even more expensive than those types of grinders. That is, until today. What I have here is a Vivor 1 inch by 30 inch belt grinder. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, they did send me this grinder in exchange for making the video. However, let it be known that this particular grinder was already a top contender in my search for a replacement for my existing grinder. So I was looking to replace my existing grinder. I was looking at this grinder in particular, and yes, I was able to convince Vivor to send me this grinder in exchange for making a video. And while that's definitely one of the perks of having a YouTube channel, I just wanted to point out that I was already looking at this particular grinder as a replacement. In just a minute, you're gonna see why, so let's open this thing up and get a look at it. In retrospect, 
I realized that was a fairly anticlimactic unboxing since it's all wrapped in plastic and you can't see anything. So let me just put this thing together and then we'll talk about it. What you're looking at here is basically a mini version of one of those larger knife grinders. It's got all the same features that you'd expect to see on one of the bigger grinders, like the big wheel for grinding big radiuses. It has the flat wall attachment thingamajig for grinding 90 degree corners. It can, of course, sit up vertical or lay down flat, and it has all the associated attachments for both of those configurations. And the entire thing is powered by a brushless AC servo motor with the associated servo control. A servo controller has, I guess, all the features you'd expect from a servo controller. You can do all sorts of stuff with this thing. You can, of course, set your speeds and max speeds. You get infinite variable speed control. You can set your ramp up times. You get braking control. This thing does all sorts of stuff and in fact it even has its own little instruction sheet which I will of course figure out later. Anyway I guess that's the basic elevator pitch. Um, I have gone ahead and installed the 90 degree attachment because I think this is probably the configuration that I will use it in mostly. So I guess all that's left to do now is get it set up on the bench and take it for a spin. Get it? Take it for a spin because it's a... let's just get it set up. All right, well, I think we are pretty much ready to go. So I guess let's uh, fire it up and see how it does. All right, so right off the bat, first impressions, it is much quieter than the old one. And it isn't shaken at all whatsoever. I mean, that is just running really, really smooth. As far as the speed control goes, I'm currently sitting at 1750 RPM and there is plenty of room to go in both directions. There's 3080. Um, I don't really see any sense in going much faster than that. And of course, you can do super, super slow speeds as well. Starting and stopping is really smooth as well. Which I guess is one of the benefits of this type of motor control. You don't really get the hard starts that you get with some other types of motors. Obviously the really important question is how well does it work? So I've just got a piece of scrap metal here. We'll grind on it a little bit and see how well it does. Honestly, 
I am impressed. Everything that you just saw was 100% real time. I didn't speed anything up. I didn't do any editing. So you just saw literally how long it took to remove this much material from this piece of steel using that grinder, which for me, and at least what I'm used to is a huge, huge improvement. To be able to do this type of material removal with that other grinder, you're looking at a serious time investment. I'm not kidding when I say like 15, 20 minutes just to put like this chamfer on using that other grinder. Also, when I was grinding this divot, I was putting a lot of force against this wheel. Way more force than I would ever be able to put against that old grinder. And I wasn't getting any indication at all that this thing wanted to slip or that the motor wanted to stall, absolutely nothing. I mean, it was just powering through it. Based on, you know, what I just felt, I think if you really wanted to overcome the force of these pulleys or to overcome that motor, you would have to put the kind of force against this thing that quite frankly, you should feel uncomfortable with. All right, I said I wanted this to be a quick video, so let's see if we can't wrap this up. Already, you know that I am impressed with what I have seen so far from this grinder. It manages to bring some serious work potential to bear despite its small, unassuming, and let's face it, adorable stature. Not only that, but it's got all the features you would expect from a modern knife grinder. It has the attachments. You can grind in different positions and different configurations to get different results. It's versatile. It's powerful. So yeah, I'm happy with this little thing. Anyway, I guess that pretty much sums it up. If you are interested in checking one of these out for yourself, I will have a link in the description down below. If you use my link, you'll save a couple of bucks. So you know, kind of a no-brainer. If you're looking for a grinder anyway, you might as well save yourself some money. Definitely click that link. If you have made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one very, very soon.